Sean McFeely here with your weekly Acorn of Truth. This week we look at Jesus and children. One of the unique things I think about Christ is his care for children. There's no other religion or prophet where the leader of that religion is so focused on both adults but also children. And so here in Mark chapter 9 and 10, we're going to take a look at three passages where he focuses on children. He says, If anyone desires to be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And then in verse 36 in Mark 9, he says, He took a child and set him in their midst. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one of these children in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. Then he goes on down at verse 42. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believes in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. Pretty harsh words for those who take advantage of children. And then we jump over to chapter 10 and verse 13. They brought young children to him that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, He was very displeased and said to them, Allow the little children to come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter it. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands on them, and he blessed them. So Jesus blesses the children. He's concerned about people who take uh, advantage of children. And he also wants us to receive children. So our acorn of truth for this week is just thinking about the beauty of camp where we get to receive kids and just help them enjoy his creation, love them, provide three nutritious meals a day, experience the love and um, stability of a cabin environment. That's amazing. That's what's so cool about summer camp experiences and, and winter retreats. But also in our own lives, where are we making places for kids? Uh, Could be a grandkid, could be our own children, uh, could be someone else's children. I had a friend who just passed away and he has a 17 year old and a 15 year old that he left behind. How can I bless those children and be a part of their lives um, as I continue to be in this community and to love in Jesus name? Maybe you can think of someone too, a child Maybe a next door neighbor, you see a harried mother or father that just needs an extra hand with their kids. Um, One of the unique things as believers is we get to be blessed by serving kids, welcoming them into the kingdom, and treating them with the love and dignity that Jesus did. Have a great week.